Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Unobtained World. Uh, yeah, so exciting, exciting stuff. This here I decided not to use in this design because we're going to be able to make our own spawners and we're going to make this really interesting farm um, for slime. It's gonna We're going to make slime spawners, <laughs> uh, which is really interesting and will help us with slime. We don't have to make a conventional slime farm, we can make a very interesting slime farm. Uh, because they drop lots of XP. Anyways, that's something to look forward to in the future. We need XP now. <laughs> um, and yeah, so this is our stronghold area. And I like where this goes. It's like this area right here. It just goes right here. I really do like where this goes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out a room. Um, and we're going to create a stronghold but we're going to create my take on how a stronghold should look with the materials we have so i've always thought of the minecraft stronghold as like a little place where you know this portal to another dimension is and it's there because it's an ancient like just crazy thing um so i wanted to try to capture that in um yeah in this video here in in my stronghold room for this world so uh, i decided since we can make our own portal uh, we might as well do it and i would like to go to the end today to get some xp uh, from killing the dragon you do get a good amount of xp so that's the idea anyways uh i'm going to show you guys kind of what i'm thinking all right so this is about the size room i'm thinking of it's not that big uh so here's the center block that I'd like to center the portal around. So if you guys don't know, you have to place these facing outwards like so in order for the portal to work. Anyways, yeah, I think being just one block above it gives a nice feel. Now for the floor, uh, what I thought of always when I'm do thinking of these sort of things is there would be um, like a leaves and light coming through under uh, actually under here it doesn't matter as much as there's going to be a portal but uh, you know what? just because I'll go ahead and yeah we'll just do that and then we'll go ahead and do the leaves here right and so that gives it an interesting feeling but for the floor here around it we're gonna have to go down two blocks on every block here and we're gonna have to put in light sources and the way I plan on doing that is growing some pumpkins. And then there would be a second layer of leaves uh, underneath. And that would light up the room. And I think that would be a really cool effect. And it's kind of how I'd like to decorate a lot of my base is leaves as the floor. Which is interesting, I know. But I think it looks really cool. So, Well, this is my take on a stronghold. I really like the way it turned out. Um... Yeah, I ended up just going for it. So the leaves there. Um, I need to put a jack-o'-lantern behind this one and this one. But I really like this style uh, with the, the wood and then the leaves. And then the stone and the water just looks really awesome. I think I'm going to try to keep this a theme between all my builds here in the world. And especially like when we go into places, I want to use lava as much as possible for lighting. It looks really cool. Um, and I know with the newer lava texture, it's going to look even better. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited about this room because, yeah, of course, we can go into the end here. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. The leaves, I think, really bring the room together. And I think the stone ceiling kind of makes it feel underground, whereas, like, if we were above ground, I might just have it open to the sky or something like that. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Maybe glass or something. And obviously when we get uh, connected glass textures, the lava is going to look even better. So I think, yeah, I think that's awesome. Now this stuff doesn't burn, so we're going to have to create a bunch of this so we can use it in our builds because I think it looks really cool. Um, yeah, so that's that. Of course, we got to light the portal, which, yeah, we got to go kill some endermen for the ender pearls. And uh, we're going to have to go to the nether to get some blaze rods. So that's what we're going to do first here. Um... Uh, here's my flint and steel. I already set up an area for the nether portal right over there. Um, if we go over here. Yep. Man, this place is going to be so cool with bridges and stuff. Oh, I'm just so excited about building in this area. This is like... Yeah, anyways. 
Let's go ahead and light the portal here. Here we are. And let's go ahead and put some torches on here. Uh, awesome. I think that'll do. Ideally, we would be able to find a fortress. So I'm going to try to keep my, uh, you know, my area here. This is a trick that I saw in uh, one of Impulse's, like, Naked and Scared series. So, you know, it's little scumpus or whatever they're called. Really good idea just to keep track of where you are. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's real smart. Um, so I'm going to try to keep track of where I've been. I'm exploring the nether for a bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, everyone, the theme has been set for our base. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is really awesome. Uh, I really, you know, haven't got into building in a long time. And today just felt, you know, I was just happy with whatever I did. It was like awesome. And it just, you know, playing these older versions, you know, it's kind of nostalgic. Even though I wasn't even playing the game when it was these versions. I started a little bit later, I think 1.4, 1.5. Um, and, you know, the game's still very similar. And, you know, I'd watch videos from older versions and it would be like, oh, pretty, that's not that long ago. So... You know, it's just such, I don't know, it's awesome just doing this, so. I'm really happy how the theme turned out, like, with this lava and everything. I think the lava really brings something to it that, I don't know, it's, like, menacing, but also kind of cool looking. I don't know, it's menacing, but cool. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, but I just like it, you know. Um, the lava kind of has the natural flow, like, into this area here um and so essentially i'm hoping to do that with all these and have like big bridges with lava flowing on the side and then just lava going into these pits down here where we're gonna have like melt melteries you know kind of like how they melted iron and whatever i think that could be real cool uh, even though the blocks we have now are somewhat limiting I really like it and the fact that this is the entrance to the stronghold area which is awesome and with the leaves it like brings a whole nother like just feel to it and then the lava again it's like awesome I just ah, it's so cool so yeah we need XP so we need to get into there and make an enderman farm which is gonna be a bit of a challenge especially since I spent so much time building it I don't know, this episode's probably going to be... Actually, it shouldn't be too late because of the way I've set up the scheduling for these videos. So, yeah, it's time to go hunt for Enderman. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a t time lapse or something, but, uh, yeah. We'll see you back when I have collected... Oh, wait. I forgot to show you guys the nether loot. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so uh, we got two blaze large left over plus 12, which is all we need for the portal down there. Um, which is great. So yeah, and we got some soul sand. As you can see, I've planted some of this stuff. It's not growing, unfortunately. I don't know why, but we'll figure that out another day. Okay, so um, I made a bit of a mistake here, and I went to the end, and the Ender Dragon doesn't exist yet. So I was stuck there. I I died. Uh, I had to come back, recollect all my gear, and stuff like that. I considered recording all of it, but then I just figured I'd get it done. So, yeah, we got some stuff here. I did die from spiders a while ago and forgot to put my armor back on. Got some tools here. I enchanted a shovel. But as you can see, we have 50 levels uh, from this spider farm here. As you can see, there's a spawner in there, a spawner in there. Um, yeah, it's taken quite some time. Um, it's not the best. It's, yeah, it's pretty much... I don't know, it, it's definitely not the most ideal, so I'm really, really hoping I get lucky and just get Silk Touch first try here. If I don't, oh man, it's going to suck, but we're going to have to get back up to 50 levels, which is going to take an ungodly amount of time. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can get a good level 50 enchant here, and hopefully it's Silk Touch. Um... And I'm going to go look on the wiki before I do this, like the most common Silk Touch level. Uh, so it seems around level 40 plus is the most probable area to get Silk in. So we got, I found a 47 here. 
I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope this is O-Touch. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. We don't have to go through the grueling XP. Oh my goodness. That is... Hmm. <laughs> that, that... Oh man, that's just is so relieving. Oh... <sighs> Okay, so yeah, that means we can get ourselves a spawner, which is awesome. That was so lucky. I'm actually really, really happy about that. So if we go down here, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually break one of these cave spider spawners, uh, believe it or not. Yeah, because I have a good reason for this. This farm sucks. <laughs> Um, if I'm going to do an XP farm, we're going to do something very different and with some spawners of our own choosing. Uh, although I might want to use this in the meantime. I don't know. Am I going to want to use this in the meantime? I mean, just look at this. Look at, look at how frustrating they are. They can swim against water. It's just the worst. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have a look around see if I can find if there's another spawner around here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing one. Okay, so I decided that I would go ahead and travel to a different stronghold where I know there's a spider spawner that I know I'm not gonna use. Alright guys, so as you can see we're in beta 1.9 pre-release 4. So if we go ahead and get rid of the F3 screen and start mining. And just by the way, this is Silk Touch. And if we start mining this uh, spawner here it should drop its item. There it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick that up. There it is, monster spawner. Oh yeah, guys. All right, so, um, yeah, quite a few silverfish down there, but we should have a few infested blocks in this section here. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can lead all these guys in here and then go ahead and block it off. There we go, um, and get this out of here. Uh, let's see, can we place that? Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait for all those guys to infest something. Uh, if we're out here, you'll see all those particles. See that? That was them spawning, actually. But over there, I think one just went into a block. Another one went into a block. Um, yeah, so it's fairly quick, actually. We can make an automatic system for this using a bud switch. But, okay, if we go over here, they're pretty much all gone. So let's get our silk touch pick. Or let's actually light this bad boy up here. Okay, so silk touch. So, uh, as you can see, a silverfish comes out, but a block drops and it stacks into there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we can't really, it's kind of difficult to do this, to get more than one or two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those, replace that. There we go. There we go. And if we get out of their range, you'll see the particles where they enter blocks. And we'll get these, which are infested stone. So we can't get um, stone bricks, it seems. Uh, I'd like to do some experimenting, see what happens when we try to craft these into, a, say, stone bricks. And if do we get infested stone bricks. Uh, that's enough silverfish collection. We got 10 uh, uh, infested stone. Couldn't say that for a sec. Which is awesome. We've destroyed a stronghold, basically. This thing is ruined. Or... Yeah, anyways, we got our monster spawner and these guys. Take all this stuff, and we'll get the heck out of here. All right, so I've put uh, the spawner and the infested stone into our, uh, what's going to be unobtained chest here for now. Um, and yeah, I also, on my way back, I just chopped down uh, quite a few trees. You can see my durability on my ax here. Uh, oh yeah, nice, so we needed a good amount of uh, logs here so I decided that would be a good idea so um, yeah I'd also like to get organized in um, a chest room which I've decided I'm gonna put here um, 
So yeah, we're gonna work on that a little bit. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, I have done it. Here is our storage room for the foreseeable future for a while. We have 369, 12, 15, 18 chests, so that should be enough for to last us a while. Uh, we've already filled our cobblestone chest here, uh, and we've started to uh, spill over into here, but I have something that I discovered on accident, but then remembered that this was on our list. So if we go ahead, these are slabs, place them into a block like this, take our silk touch, look what we get a uh, double slab so I wanted to see what happens with this one probably the same thing yeah so it's weird that it happens like that with wood I um, also want to know what happens with um, yeah so I actually did that already on accident here so I want to see what happens with this guy here same thing so it seems you can only get this double slab which is I think the default value so I guess it might be worth just crafting up a bunch of these and Okay, so there we go. Uh now I want to know what happens with when we place that and then so yeah, you can break it and then you can probably mine it up again. Yeah, so basically you're just storing slabs in a more compact form. We'll go ahead and make it a nice round number, placing that down. Interesting, that's really cool. So you can get a double slab, which is an actual block as you can see. Um, and since this is interesting, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. Interesting little thing. Anyways, uh, yeah, I spent some good amount of time organizing this area here. Yeah, I think I've got a pretty inclusive storage area. Eventually, we're going to, like, already, one double chest for cobble is not enough, so uh, we'll probably create some sort of extreme bulk storage for stuff that we, you know, just have excessive amounts of, like that. Right now, our netherrack supply is very low. Um, dirt, gravel, and sand. I don't have any sand right now. Got some food in here. Uh, we got mob drops. Most of that is string. Uh greenery so you know plants of uh, decorative plants and crops and stuff like that wood stuff uh, stone uh, we got our valuables here we got our redstone here we got miscellaneous so I put these in here because they are the ones that we can use um, we got just tools uh, we got rails we got uh, this is supposed to be for brewing so we have a chest for brewing which I might change that. Um, odd blocks, we haven't really filled that up yet. Glass, again, none of that. And uh, slabs and stairs, which we're calling steps. So, yeah, and I redid the entrance here for slabs like this. A creeper blew up here, so that's a little bit weird. Um, and then we have this room here, which we can get into like that. <laughs> um, so far, these aren't growing yet, Any anyways. So I think that is going to end the episode for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I know I did. I found this to be a very fun episode to do, uh, especially getting the storage room done. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas, put them in the comments below. And uh, also, n uh, next episode we get to update um, to a new version. Uh, will not be revealed yet, but... At the beginning of next episode, we will dupe uh, that stuff over there in these chests. Um, this stuff here, we'll dupe that. Uh, probably not the double slabs, but we'll dupe the other stuff. 
and uh, we're going to do it in an interesting way because that was kind of a request um, among different people. So, yeah, and whoops. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.